Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. It's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages, one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it Mali have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. So that's got things on the way. With a delicate ball. And he's there to clear it. Let's try Ori. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be outmuscled. Aimed in towards the centre. Ori. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Breaks on here. Bolly. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Ivory Coast have it back and they can go again. That's the throw. Beautifully done. Aurier goes long. So nearly the perfect ball. Mali seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. 
Seri. Forward it goes. Out to the left it goes. That's a quarter kick. Looking to get there first. Well read, he sorted that out. Real chance! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Traore. Just brushed off the ball there. Plays it out to the flank. Aurier looking to get on the end of this. Yeah, very careless, and uh, I leave it at that. Still waiting for the first goal. available out wide Shot a goal! Oh, good delivery almost the perfect outcome that's a good effort because the timing of the run caught everyone off guard Pinged forward. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Aurier. Ivory Coast. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. And still goals. And the action is back on the way. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Look at the defender bombing forward. Great leap! Good delivery. No joy. Well, if you give him something to attack in the air, he's most likely to, to get there. It's what he does best. Mali have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. him there, it's a free kick. Comes another cross. Whipped it again. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Fences 
got rid of that. Played into space out wide. Keeper has beaten it away. It's gone for a throw in. And it's for Fana. Gets it. Has a goal! to win it back. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Pofana. Oh, he's found big chance! Hoists it forward. He's played him through. Keeps everyone guessing. Clears it out of harm's way. It's it back. And it's for Fana. Got a shot away. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. A good run down the right. Where could this lead? You can get that clear. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Has he found his man? And it's played forward. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's had a goal! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer, not there. 90 minutes up, and we will be back for extra time. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been... I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. 90 minutes gone and nothing between them still. And he's searching through. He could be in. Has a hit! Wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A plus grade. There are a few waiting for it. It's got through. There's the shot! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. 
Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Hoists it forward. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Nicely measured pass. Aurier looking for a decent ball in. And it's Fofana. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. That's it for the first period of extra time. Well, I think for both sets of... And so, the last chance to find a winner. 105 minutes of deadlock, 15 minutes to break it. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Gradle floats one over. And it's played forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Marley have to get it into the box and quickly. Bolly. Kessier. Ivory Coast going about it patiently, perhaps. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Well, the standout issue for me, Peter, is to question why they waited until extra time to reveal their true selves. Now the players look exhausted. Boy, you can feel the tension. So, the first penalty. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. And he sticks it away. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. So, the ball is placed on the spot. Marley trailing by one. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Gradle, perhaps the man you would pick for this moment. I oh, saved it! He's so focused there, fantastic save. The third man in the queue. No, he's fluffed it. 
Oh, we're talking inches. Such are the, uh, the fine margins. Kessie is the third man to step forward. Terrific penalty, unsavable. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Well, he's filled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. Seti is the fourth man to step forward for them. Keeper's read that beautifully. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. Ivory Coast at the point of no return. Oh, it's been saved! And that's it! So, in the end, heartbreak. A few of them inconsolable. And this is what footballing fate had stored up for them. It is nasty. Oh, this is so tough. And the penalty...